If you need to create a new template, just create it in the templates folder. Here it. Symfony recommends to use snake keys to name folders or tweak files. Also, file names have to contain two extensions. Here it. Um, the first is HTML or XML or something else, and the second one is tweak. By the way, templates can generate any text format. So, to simplify work with different formats, double extensions are used. So, let's create a new template following the rules that I talked about. We have not yet reached the topic of inheritance, so we will create a basic HTML document structure in this file. And let's change the template that has been rendered to a new one in the controller. When you create a controller that renders this template, you can pass to it the needed variables. I'll show it. And now we can display this variable in our template using double curly braces syntax. So, uh, this array define the variables passed to the template, and this key defines the variable name, and this value defines the value of the variable. And in our case, we used the variable part of the URL as the value of our variable. In this case, it is also recommended to use snake case for variable names. This variable is quite simple. The most commonly used are complex PHP variables such as arrays and objects. I'll show you how to work with them.
So, this syntax provides quick access to complex PHP variables. In this case, you want to display first name, store it in the variable username. It doesn't matter, is username an array or an object? Also, it doesn't matter, is first name a property or a method? When you use syntax that I showed, Twig tries to get the value of the variable. First, from an array and its element. Second, from an object and its public property. Third, from an object and its public method. Fourth, from an object and its getter method. Fifth, from an object and its ether method. Sixth, from an object and its hazard method. Oh, and one more thing that I want to show you. You can get random number using tweak random function right in the template. This is I was talking about before. I strongly recommend you to discover this page with all its tags, filters, functions, tests and so on. There are a lot of helpful things. And we move on. In your Symfony application, you can use global variable called app. This variable available to you from any tweak template by default. It gives you access to some application information, for example about current user object if it is authenticated, about the request object, about session object that represents the current user's session, about flash messengers stored in the session, about current configuration environment. Also, it returns a boolean value if the application is in debug mode. And also, you can get a token interface object. So, let's try this global variable and get information about current configuration environment. global variable you can learn from the symphony documentation. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next time.